This is a quick hit video on the basics of creating bearings on a drawing, primarily for civil engineering and plot plans for architecture. We're going to show you the basics of how to uh, create drawings for mapping purposes. We're going to start off with the basics, as we always do, top four items. First thing to set up is the units. Under Drawing Utilities, we'll hit the units. Uh, this one we're actually going to be working, we can work in architectural or we can work in engineering. The only difference is, is that this is uh, feet and in decimal inches, but it will also allow us to work in the foot environment. We could also work in, in, in the architectural environment. Both will uh, operate properly. Angles, however, we need to change. We can work with degrees, minutes, seconds, but realistically we need surveyor's units, which also include a bearing and we need to make sure that we can do degrees, minutes, and seconds as part of that bearing. And again, we can do uh, higher levels of accuracy, but we're just going to do the basic degrees, minutes, and seconds. We're going to go ahead and choose OK and move forward. Uh, the second thing that we're going to do is set object snap and polar tracking. Uh, when we do the polar tracking and object snap settings, you'll notice now that instead of 5 degrees, it says 85 degrees because it's 5 degrees off of the 90 degree bearing, which is fine. Object snap, we want to make sure that midpoint and perpendicular are always selected. Those are the ones that we can use. Now, if you're doing a civil engineering drawing, many times you're bringing in data, and the data will be node points, and you want to be able to snap to nodes. So you might want to also need to uh, look at nodal uh, locations. We'll choose OK. Last thing that we want to set up are a couple of layers. It's always good to set up some layers. Uh, you should always work outside of layer 0 just to make it easier. So we're going to do uh, property lines and we'll do easement. And we'll change the color of the easement to a dark blue. Well, let's do purple. Um, again, identifying uh, colors and working with line types and line weights, really important. So again, set those up appropriately in your drawing environment. When we get started with our drawing, the key is that when we, when we look at a drawing, we need to pick a corner to work from. doesn't matter which corner you pick to work from, but you need to pick a corner. Now the bearings that's, that are located on that corner may draw the line in the opposite direction. We'll demonstrate that as we go forward here. Uh, ultimately, when we're finished, we'll show you how to draw a few lines. We'll show you how to manipulate uh, bearings, just so you know how to get the lines back in orientation if necessary. So we're going to go ahead and change our layer to, pro to the property lines. And we're going to go ahead and draw a line. The first line that we're going to draw is going to be 150 feet long. So we're going to type in 150 with a foot sign. So we're going to go ahead and draw a line. We're going to pick the line command. We're going to select the starting spot. We're going to go ahead and type at with the at symbol 150 feet less than. Now we can put in our angle. So it's going to be north. 30 with a small d for degrees, 20 minutes with a single quote, 30, excuse me, 15 seconds east, and we hit the enter key. Okay, so what just happened there? So we, that, something just flakily happened there. So let's try this again. At symbol, Oh, I held the shift down too long. So we go at symbol, 150 feet, less than symbol, north, 30 small d, 24 minutes, 15 seconds, east. And it draws the line basically 30 degrees to the right of north because that would be north of east so that makes a little bit more sense seeing that north is straight up east is to the right 30 degrees north of east so now I've got a 150 foot line 
at a specific angle, a bearing. We can draw another line, and this line we're going to draw 200.50 feet. So it's 200.5 feet, which, which would mean that it's 200 feet 6 inches. And you're going to see 73.24 feet and 67.94 feet. Everything's in a decimal orientation of a foot. So you can type it in just as you see it on the plot plan. So this one is going to be 200.5 feet. Uh, let me start again. At sign, 200.5 feet less than north, 48 degrees. 38 minutes, 10 seconds, west. So again, we now have a 150 foot property line, we have a 200 foot property line, our third property line is going to be much shorter, uh, and it may be in the right direction, we'll see. We're going to go ahead and choose the line command again, pick the end point, this one is going to be at 73.46 feet less than south 10 degrees 47 minutes 30 seconds east. Wow, that's going to be a tight corner in that lot. But maybe that wasn't the right direction. Sometimes what happens is the way that the surveyor surveys the, the property, when you type in the bearing, the surveyor is working from one direction, you are actually drawing from an opposite direction, and it doesn't work out. So there's two things you can do. Let's say, for example, this line actually needed to go up instead of down. Well, the surveyor shot the direction in the same direction that the line was drawn here on our drawing, but realistically it needed to go up in this direction. There's two things I can do. I can move the line because we know that it's accurate. So we can move the line because we know that it's accurate and it will because it, it was drawn at that bearing or I would have to change to the opposite bearing so that would be north of west and then we would also get the same angle. So that is a quick hit look at how you can create drawings using bearings for civil engineering. Have a great day.